Ooh, welcome back, little gentlemen. Today you're watching me interrupt Airbnb guests telling them I'm mowing the lawn and telling them I'm gonna open a garage. You're also gonna learn why you need to get a HELOC even if you never use it. Now there's no downside to using it and why it's often the first step I tell people to do to reach financial independence, which is what my channel is all about. Where debt is king, cash is dumb, and how multiple mortgages is the quickest way to become a multi-millionaire. So this is it. This is the property I bought, what, five, six years ago that I'm mowing. Airbnb guests are there right now. And it is a hot one out there. This property I got a HELOC on six, seven years ago at like 6% variable. In fact, it's probably worse than 6%. Now, I never used it and you don't either. My point is there's no downside of getting one. In fact, three or four years later after securing this, the bank was getting mad that I never used it. So they contacted me and said, hey, if you use this HELOC, we'll give it to you at 1% for one year. That was their way of making interest because they secured all this money for me to use and I was never using it. So at 1%, I didn't care what I was gonna go buy. I'm pretty sure, again, this was years ago, I'm pretty sure I bought my third RV with that HELOC money. 1% interest only. When the promo ended a year later, I paid it off. So who cares what the rates are right now? First off, HELOC rates are variable. Second off, don't even ever use it. Third off, it gives you the security and the mental sleep good at night knowing you have that money secured, that line of credit secured that you could use for any reason at any given time. So yes, get the HELOC. Don't use it, get it, and we'll talk later.